Like the masses, I was in awe when I first laid eyes on all the things you are. I heard that speech. I knew we make noise. I just thought it'd be in the streets. The Black Panthers are the single greatest threat to our national security. Our counterintelligence program must prevent the rise of a black messiah. You're looking at 18 months for the stolen car, five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. What do you want? Get close to Hampton. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Neutralize him by any means necessary. America's on fire right now. And until that fire is extinguished, nothing else means a damn thing. Imagine what we could accomplish together. We can heal this whole city. You ain't tell me it was gonna be like this. These ain't no terrors. We got a rat, man. Does anybody else know about me? No one knows your identity. Are you sure? We educate. We nurture, we feed, and we lobby. Perhaps we're here for more than just war with these bodies. We scream, and we shout, and we live by this anthem. But it's power to the people really worth their ransom. When I dedicated my life to people, I dedicated my life. You get to go out there and talk about dying a revolutionary death because you don't have another person growing inside your body. Anywhere there's people, there's power. Judas and the Black Messiah. Rated R in theaters and streaming exclusively. What up? What up? What up? It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn's channel, Sweatbox. We back. We live. We active here on the channel. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, uh. Still dodging those digital jabs. You know how we do. Here for another movie review for y'all, man. Today, we're talking about a good one. This is my movie review for Judas and the Black Messiah, which debuted on HBO Max and in theaters. And man, this movie. Let's get into it, man. Let's talk about this movie a lot. I like this movie. I like this movie a lot. I like the casting of the actors. I like the story it told. I just like this movie, man. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but as an African American, as a black man living in racist America, this movie struck a nerve with me, man. This movie struck a nerve with me. But let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about Judas and the Black Messiah, starring Daniel Kaluuya as Fred Hampton, Lakia Stanfield as Bill O'Neill, Jesse Pimmons as Roy Mitchell, and Dominic Fishback as Deborah Johnson. Good cast, man. I was very surprised at the casting of uh, as of uh, Jesse uh, Pimans, is it Pimans, Pimans, whatever his name is from from Breaking Bad. He's such a um, I don't know. There's something about him as an actor where he his face is very recognizable. Uh, but he does a good job, and he's done a good job. Let's be clear, he's a very good actor. I liked him a lot in I in uh in The Irishman <clears throat> as he played um. As he played uh, Jimmy Hoffa's son, he played Hoffa's son in there, and obviously he crushed it in, in, in Breaking Bad. Um, Michaela Stanfield, we all know from such great things, Get Out, uh, Atlanta. It's just he's been in a lot of stuff, man. I like Michaela Stanfield a lot, and then uh, same with Daniel Kaluuya, who's been in a lot. He's just been cr he's crushed it in everything he's done. Everything Daniel Kaluuya has been in, he's crushed, and he crushed it as Fred Hampton. Crushed it as Fred Hampton. Little older than I thought. I didn't realize, and a lot of people didn't realize Fred Hampton died so young. He was like 21 when he died. So it's so crazy. It's so crazy what they do to us. What they do to us black folks in this country, man. It's crazy what they do to us black folks in this country. 
But uh, this movie, man, it really just talks about the rise of of of, of um, Fred Hampton and the Black Panther Party in Chicago, and how the FBI, along with uh, J. Edgar Hoover <clears throat> and Roy Mitchell, and uh, sent in K. Stanfield, aka Bill O'Neill, they sent him in. They sent Bill O'Neill in as a, as a, as an undercover as a, as a snitch, as an informant. And they, and they end up getting him, and they end up killing him. In the movie, it says that he poisoned him, and then the police came in and shot him and murdered him in cold blood. This is such a, I mean, it just goes. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> first of all, I'm not gonna get too political, but you guys know I don't have a problem getting political, because y'all know where I stand politically on my channel over here. Um, but man, man, this movie was powerful. This movie was powerful. I loved the scenes. Some of them, let's talk about some of the scenes that I love. I love the scene where he goes to talk to the uh, the crowns in their neighborhood, and he tells them to leave the guns in the car. And he goes in there, and he's talking tough. He's talking real big, and they all pull the pistols out. He's like, "Yeah, bro, we need to be together." And then he goes and he talks to the white people. He goes and talks to the white folks. And he was bringing. That's what really. See, that's what really got the government scared. When he started bringing together black and white people, that's what really. Got the government like, yo, man, this man is dangerous. This man is dangerous, and we need to put a stop to him. <sighs> I love uh, Lakia uh, Stanfield as Bill O'Neill. The conflict that he was going through was great. I love how he was so easily seduced by the simple life of Agent Roy Mitchell. When Roy took him over to the house, he was just so... And I know, and I've seen that in so many black people because just what was normal for Roy, which is was was was, was next level futuristic for Bill, because that's all he ever known is struggle. So to see Roy living this life with the house and the and the and the all you can eat and all whatever you want, yeah, the finest liquors, I got to go pour you a glass. Hi, go ahead, help yourself. Of course, he's gonna be seduced by that. Giving him some little, throwing him some little monies. Come on, man. And I love the way Lakeith, I love how he played that role. The way he played that role was great. Um, the scene where they're having the, where they're having the standoff and the dude recognizes him and he's like, hey, and then that whole face showdown with the girl in the car was, man, it was just such a good movie. Such a good movie. And the ending, uh, the one, the girl who played, uh, the girl who played Deborah. His, his Fred Hampton's girlfriend, uh, Dominique Fishback, thank you, um, who you guys might recognize from The Deuce and Project Power, she's a really good actress, she's a really good actress, if you haven't seen The Deuce, you definitely need to go check out The Deuce, it's a great show, great show, um, man, she crushed it, I love the, the you know, the, 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 when she's at the speeches, and you see the, the, just the emotion, you see she just wipes the one tear, man, he was, he, and uh, obviously Daniel Kaluuya crushes it as Fred Hampton. Um, I am a revolutionary. I love that. I love that. Oh, it just it gives me chills. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was it was so powerful. It was just so powerful. I really, I really, really dug this movie, man. I really dug this movie. I can't recommend it enough. All I can recommend is that you go see it. You know what I'm saying? If you have no idea what the Black Panther Party was about, I love how they were so so focused on talking about how. The Panthers were about the school program and the health community and, and building the health center and all that. But they weren't. They also were about defending themselves, man. I mean, they was going out just shooting it out with the cops. I remember that. It was so crazy how they was just always just shooting it out with the cops. Every every movie I've seen with the Panthers that was that was that was one of the most accurate things. They was always in crazy shootouts with the cops. They always lost, of course. They always they get killed. You know what I'm saying the police will kill you quick. They don't matter. And if you kill one of them, then they take it personal. It's so it's just so back it's so backwards. It's so ass backwards. But um this was a phenomenal movie, man. A phenomenal movie. Daniel Kalua and uh, all three let me be clear because Jesse P and I know they're not gonna all get it, but they all deserve award consideration. But specifically Daniel and Lakeith Lakeith. Uh they, they both deserve it. And Deborah does, too, and Dominique, Dominique does too for her portrayal. Of this. I'm, she's, I totally think she's going to get overlooked. 
she absolutely deserves some consideration. Best Supporting Actress. Where you at, Oscars? Um, so, yeah, man. My, my ranking for this movie is 9 out of 10, man. This is a great movie. I could talk about it for, for 10 more minutes, but I'm not going to do that. Just go see it. Go see it. The ending of this movie, how they did my boy Fred Hampton. But I love the story of how her son lived on. His son still living on, carrying on the movement. Just for the record, they got a song. Um, this is what it feels like. Jay Z, Nipsey Hussle. It's one of my. It's my favorite song out right now. What it feels like. Jay Z featuring Nipsey Hussle. And Jay's got a line where he says, "I arrived on the day Fred Hampton got murked, assassinated." Just to clarify further, what you gave birth to was a Chapman miss with Jeff Fort. Big step in the jet with my legs crossed. Woo! Come on, Jay. But um, that line is so awesome because uh, the murder was the excellence back in um, the Watch the Throne. I think it was Watch the Throne or Holy Grail. Well, I think it was Watch the Throne. Um, he had a line where he said, I arrived on the day Fred Hampton died. And apparently Fred Hampton's family wasn't too happy about that. Yo, man, Fred Hampton was murdered. Make sure you say that. So Jay said it. Assassinated, just to clarify it further. This country has so much to answer for when it comes to black people and racism. And this country will never reach the potential that it's trying to reach until it answers for the racism and the horrible things that it's done to my people. But this movie was phenomenal. Go watch it. Shouts out to HBO. Shouts out to Warner Brothers. Shouts out to Daniel Kaluuya, McKay Stanfield. Everybody involved with this movie. It was phenomenal. It was a great movie. 9 out of 10 for me, man. Go see Judas and the Black Messiah. For sure. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Keep it locked for all things Mr. Vaughn. Channel Sweatbox. Click those notifications so you know when I upload. And until next time, you know how we do. Peace. I'm a girl. Oh, to the ends with you. I'm a girl. To the end with you. I'm a girl. To the end.